Introducing first, fighting to my left out of the blue corner. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in officially at 149 pounds. His record includes two wins against a single defeat, fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dylan Salvador. And across the steel, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands in and five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in officially at 146 pounds. In 15 professional bouts, his record consists of 11 wins against four defeats. Joining us from Shai Kent, Kazakhstan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Arman Sankar Ospanov. And your referee in charge is Alan Abeliz. Alan Abeliz will be conducting things inside of the cage here for this featherweight matchup between Ospinov and Salvador. Two tough fighters here. Both guys coming off of a loss. And man, are they hungry. I know you guys wouldn't know anything about that. But, uh, but these guys coming off of a loss here. And uh, Ospinov in the red corner, Salvador in the blue. Eagle FC 44 continues to roll on. This will be our last prelim matchup as our main card is coming up next right here on the FlexCast app. Yeah, I tell you what, I love the diversity. When I go back to, look at these countries versus countries. You got Kazakhstan versus France. <laughs> love it. You know what I mean? Like, we saw in the beginning of the fight, I mean, this whole fight is just so diverse, which is what mixed martial arts is. Dylan Salvador. Great kickboxer, very, very tough fighter, man. Stays very, very busy, Chael, uh, when he's not in MMA competition, kickboxing, exhibition matches. Salvador is nonstop, and you got to appreciate a guy that stays busy. He is ready to roll into every fight. When the referee told these two they could fight, do you think they didn't hear him? Do you think, <laughs> is there a reason they haven't started the fight yet? It's almost scary how, uh, how composed <laughs> sometimes somebody could be, because, hey, you get caught at any minute. Is that composure? Because it's a mortar, it's a minute in, and I'm wondering why we haven't started fighting yet. Oh, spinning wheel kick. Hey, that'll make up. Huh, that'll yeah. make up for a little bit right there. A sun car, Arman Aspinov with a big spinning wheel kick, the Kazakh fighter. It's almost like they're just waking up, right? But it's it, sometimes a kick or a punch will, will snap you back into it. You know, we see a lot of fighters, man, that can never get that win streak. Uh, very up and down in the career here of sun car, Arman Aspinov. Salvador's doing a really good job investing in, the, in those leg kicks. He's already he, he's already have uh, Ospinov switching stance. Ospinov has been uh, making hay there in the ACA, a very tough yep. Russian organization, where he has big W's over Merzaya of Eskiju. Tough, tough fighters there in that featherweight division in ACA. Ospinov is, uh, I believe I'm on to his strategy here, which is he's coming out to trade with the kickboxer, right? D Dylan Salvador, that's his bread and butter is right where they are. I think Ospinov's setting him up. I do think he plans to flip the script and take this fight to the ground. He's just figuring out this range. It's kind of the calm before the storm as we get ready for this incredible main card. Not only is it the big co-main event, Rashad Evans in his return and Spong and Heratanov in the main event, but the undefeated Ramazan Kuramagomedov. A lot of folks tuning in just to see him if he can stay undefeated tonight here at Eagle FC 44 as he draws Doomsday. John Howard. I'm gonna have to go back and just continue to keep crediting Salvador. He's kicking them legs, and that's so beautiful to me. Fast, fast and hard, but we can hear it over here. I'm trying to tell that to the audience because I want the audience to kind of have the same feel that I've got in this seat. But guys, when you can actually hear a blow, you're talking about a, a different level. You're talking about a different level of tenacity, and I am hearing the slap and the thud of these kicks being thrown by Dylan Salvador. Nice right hand. Ospinov moving right in with a nice knee. Ooh. Salvador answering with the high kick. That now shot, things are turning up. That shot wasn't bad, the distance was. Uspanov was just too far out of range when he changed elevation there. He needs to do that same thing, but get within distance. Ooh, the, these kicks will add up. Now, now this could be the, the difference in this fight now. This is where Ospinov has wanted to get this fight, I believe. I realize he hasn't done a lot to show us that. I believe the rest was a setup, trying to get Dylan comfortable with the range before he flipped the script. Let's see what Ospinov can do here, because he's going to need to score. We've seen what he can do on his feet. He needs to keep the fight here as long as he can. Yep, eat up time, eat up time, eat up time. Oh, nice right hand. 
Little beautiful granite pound there by Ospinov. Now to the body. No. Did he catch him low, though? It was not. It was not low. That was a clean shot right to the bread basket. All right. That's twice that that's happened. Like, this dude's got to make up his mind whether he hit him or not, because that's, that's two times where he's like, eh, I don't know. Well, the question in this sport is not, are you OK? If a guy is not OK, the fight is then over. We don't do timeout in MMA. We just called timeout. I'm a little confused by that. Now searching possibly for a submission from the bottom. Ospinov not giving him any opportunities. Ospinov is in the driver's seat here, gentlemen, trying to come around the side. Looking to work that ground and pound, but he Salvador's has to watch gonna Salvador. Have to get up. Salvador's going to have to get up right right now. This is so not good for him. He's got to find a way to kick, whatever you got to do, but he got to get to your feet because you're about to lose a round by just strictly staying on bottom. Ospinov's a little too bent over for me. He could take a kick straight to the face for the fans at home. Yes, up kicks are legal here in Florida. And yes, Ospinov should have not want to turn your back. Get to your What a toss! What a throw by Ospinov, but unable to capitalize all that work and got nothing out of it, Jill. That's true. I think he gained some favor with the judges here, which is what he was looking to do. And now he started control range a little bit better on his feet. He's not going to just step right back into the fire where he's quite in that range for those late kicks. He's out of range, circle around, get ready for the next stanza. Can Salvador answer back? Most certainly still in this fight. Got a bounce to his feet here, Chell. Let's see if Salvador can answer. Really hasn't gotten his bearings. Really hasn't gotten a rhythm yet. Interested to see if Salvador can get things going. And that first round was not just a battle of stand-up versus ground. It was a battle of range. Ospinov allowed himself to be in range. He played a very risky game. He took a lot of fire to find that one opportunity to move in uh, and take the thing to the ground. I, I bring that to you because I suspect Ospinov is going to either stay out of range from those kicks or he's going to take all range away and get right to the body. Yeah, he needs to continue, Chell. He needs to continue to keep taking those legs off. Those are investment. You know, we don't know how the judges scored it, but I wouldn't have to say that that um, Sankar is actually winning that round. So he's going to have to make this investment this round and see what he can do in the third, but he has to win the second round. Well, one thing you don't want to do, not good for your health, is staying in the range of Dylan Salvador, a guy that is so strong. But look at Ospinov, spinning kick to the body, and he's looking to capitalize. What a shot by Ospinov. I'm talking the stand-up of Salvador. And what just happened, Chell? Walk me through it. Well, the referee believes that he saw a low blow, and he may have. I did not, but it was very quick. <laughs> I, well, it looks like on this one, it, it, it might have gone low. There's about three or four shots that came there very quickly. Uh, by the reaction of Salvador, I'm going to uh, argue that I'm right. Whether it happened or not, I'm arguing that the referee believes that he saw it, and there's going to be a break in the action. They will not return to that same position if, in fact, he was kicked low. They will restart on the feet, which is a major uh, negative for Ospinov. Well, I'll tell you what, busted open, cut across the cheek for Dylan Salvador. Ospinov looking to capitalize. And Ospinov still very much in the driver's seat. He did damage low or not. Ooh, that's two to the body. He did, he, he just threw two really good knees right in them kidneys. Ooh, there's another one. These will add up, these will add up, guys. Ospinov on fire right now in the driver's seat, just a minute and a half in, coming off of a loss, looking Ooh, to get back in the wind beautiful column. Beautiful knee. He's hurt, press him. Salvador is not giving this up, guys. He got overwhelmed there in a couple of positions, but he is far from done fighting. And Salvador knows what he needs to do. He needs to break out of this. He needs to get free. And he needs to start changing combinations. So was is, so is that a, a gimme? Man? He get that one back? Is that what just happened right there? <laughs> there again, they were actually faced the opposite way. Chael P didn't see it, but nobody's arguing, so I'm going to assume yes. Turnabout was fair play. Did you ever see Kamara Usman and Colby Covington where one poked him in the eye and the other one didn't complain but just poked him in the eye? Then there was a low blow, but the opponent didn't complain, but he came out and kicked him. That was the nastiest fight I've seen. I don't know that that's what's happening here on purpose, but it's a little reminiscent. Speaking of the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world, Kamara Usman, he is in the house tonight, among others, Khabib Nurmagomedov, Kayla Harrison, the baddest woman on the planet right now. She might uh, be. Well, if you look at the stance, so you got Joanna here that's here. You have, I mean, there's just multiple legends out here. It's, it's, it's incredible. Joanna Champion? She's right there. Look to your right, Uncle Chell. 
Wow, you're absolutely right. I'm a fan of Joanna Champion. I would love to see. Okay, we oh, Ooh. we got it back and forth. Again, Ospinov is really able to control that underhook. Right now is the problem. Ospinov does not need to wait. Step right back yes. and take it back. There's those, your those kicks, right he's there invested there in their screen, kicks. Folks. Oh, Salvador's not done fighting, guys. Make no mistake. He's here to win. Oh, Salvador is very much in this fight right now in Southpaw's stance. Yeah, and there's nothing like seeing a great competitive fight right right now. This fight is this fight is just this fight is there's action in this fight. Special bout here. This would be the main event of our prelims as Dylan Salvador on a nice comeback trail. That's what we call bad intentions, Henry. Salvador has bad intentions Another when he Another oh, low he's... blow. There might, that, that, that might be a point. Wow, that's going to be, I think that is going to be a point. Okay, so referee but you know says what? You know what? That's no fair. point this That's time. fair because I saw a couple of times, I mean, they, they're both hitting each other. I don't know if it's done accidental or, there, or there's some malicious malice, but it's going on, so it's fair. Sure. Next time for both of them, you guys hit each other, one point. No more mulligans here. Let's take a look. Vicious leg kick. Look for the knees, people at home. Look for the knees between these two boys. One's going to get raised here, right there. There it is. Went on to the cup. And really a hole in one. Like, if it was me with a target <laughs> that big, well, but you would understand more how that could happen. I mean, that's really a one in a million Ooh, shot. Beautiful cat kick there. there. He's really investing. He's really investing those leg kicks. And I tell you what, that will show at the end of that. that that's going to show dividends in, the, in round three. Hey, it's showing now. Ospinov's having a hard time standing. That's why we have this takedown here. He basically fell. That leg is given out. Yeah, great retrieve. He was about to get taken down. He did a great job of getting up because he was about to lose position. Yes, Dylan? he was. I saw it too, and uh, Ospinov felt it. One thing when you are trying to perform for your boss, who in this case is Khabib. Khabib is looking for grit, and I will tell you, Dylan Salvador is dealing with adversity, and he is coming back. Whether he wins this fight or not, he is trying to win this fight every second he's out there, and I know Khabib likes this style. It's crazy to think like that, Shell, because it's almost like Khabib has become the Dana White. You know, but it's even better yeah. because this guy has fought. Oh, oh baby! How about the bows, throwing bows? Like mid-2000s, ludicrous. Big elbows from Dylan Salvador as he has fought his way back into the fight. Ospinov seemed to be in the driver's seat, and we've seen a lot of that tonight. One round apiece going into the third, and it doesn't get much more suspenseful no than way. that, Henry. Sell it. Hey, he needs to sell it, Henry. Oh, beautiful elbow. <laughs> yeah. Referee said no more for any reason. He's got to sell it. He gave up on it. He tried. Anything close, right? Anything yeah, close. You're right. He tried. He made the face. He Algin tried. Algin <laughs> Sterling, move out the way, man. There's, uh, you got competition. Wow. Dylan Salvador, they're, they're trading low blows tonight. Inside the EGLC steal. Huge knee, guys. Swinging out oh, on the I clinch. I love these competitive fights. I love it, Chev. I love it, Cyrus. Dylan is mean, guys. Everything he does is bad intentions. He is not trying to touch you. He's trying to destroy you. Those knee, he'll knee, knee in the stomach and hope your foot breaks. I mean, he's got bad intentions. Jimmy Christmas, what? Dylan Salvador. It's not a pretty fight, but it's a good fight. Ooh. It's a gritty, nasty, dirty fight tonight inside of the Eagle FC Steel. And once again, we go into round number three. It seems to be a trend, and Ospinov is done. This fight has been waved off. He's and did he retire to the stool? Ospinov is not going to continue. That means Dylan Salvador, what a comeback. Salvador picking up the W back on the winning side of things. Are you surprised, Jill? Yes, I am, and it looks like that was Ospinov's choice. Ladies and gentlemen, on advice of the corner, Armand Ospinov has been deemed unable to continue to begin the third round. Therefore, your winner by TKO victory, Dylan.